In a world where there are significant inequalities, people living in poverty and competing demands on resources, Africans face many challenges. But we must start somewhere. Simple strategic interventions can make a difference. Here's Africa. Here's a tap. Here's a toilet. Want to know how taps and toilets can change Africa? Here's how. Without safe drinking water and sanitation, people are more vulnerable to health risks like parasites which can lead to diarrhea, which can then lead to malnutrition. These health conditions can reduce quality of life, decrease productivity, and lead to premature death. In Africa, for every thousand children under five, almost 16 are dying of diarrhea. But access to water and sanitation can make a big difference. Some countries on the continent have made substantial progress in delivering water and sanitation. Burkina Faso, Ghana, and Malawi are some of the best performers with regard to water access, while Angola, Ethiopia, and Madagascar are doing very well when it comes to sanitation. On average, these countries have improved the delivery of taps and toilets at about 2% per year over the last 20 years. We at the African Futures Project asked what if all countries in Africa performed on par with these best practice examples. Using the IFS forecaster model, we applied this aggressive but reasonable rate of delivery to every country. We found that increasing access to water and sanitation by 2% every year to 2050 could lead to 18 million fewer malnourished children by 2030. A total increase of 75 billion US dollars in the continent's GDP by 2040 and 17 million fewer people living on less than $1.25 a day by 2050. We also found out that with no investment in improved water and sanitation, the probability of state failure in 2030 increases by 40%. But with the 2% improvement, 16 African countries have less than a 20% chance of state instability. Of course, this improvement is not free. It requires an additional $35 billion of GDP through 2050. This is on top of the $110 billion already expected to be spent on taps and toilets. Policymakers should understand that this is a long-term investment, which will provide benefits across many areas of human development, but only if strictly defined institutional arrangements, clear policy frameworks, and significant public finance underpin delivery. When all these factors come together, access to water and sanitation can contribute to a stronger and healthier future for all of Africa.